Hello dear friends, today we will improve our communication with confidence. Let's start. I think you already know that if you want to improve your English speaking skills you. This is one of the proper ways to learn grammar. How to practice right. You have to speak studying grammar will never improve your speaking. Listening to English alone will never improve your speaking. You have to actually speak. But what if you don't have someone to talk to English? What if you don't have someone to talk to? How can you practice then? Well, there is a technique that allows you to learn to speak English by yourself. No speaking partner is required. This technique can help improve many aspects of your spoken English, your sentence structure. A sentence structure. This technique can help improve many aspects of your spoken English, your sentence structure. Grammar, your vocabulary, and most importantly, your ability to express your thought and It is effectively So what is this technique? Well, here what is it? Learn to speak English through imitation. Learn to speak English through imitation. When I say imitation, I am not talking about repeating after native speakers using the exact same word to improve your pronouncing. I am talking about something a little more advanced than Z. Here now it works, you listen a conversation, a story or some kind of speech and then when I was young I when he was young he tried to deliver the speech in your own words. When I was a child, when I was a child When I was a child, my parents liked to present like many other parents. His parents liked to pretend like many others parents. His parents like to present like many other parents. What Santa Claus would bring was present at Christmas. That Santa Claus would bring up present at Christmas. His parents like to pretend that Santa Claus would bring that present at Christmas. So when he and his sibling would make up on Christmas morning.
that a bunch of presents from supposedly Santa Claus sitting in front of the fireplace. There be a bunch of parents from supposedly Santa Claus sitting in front of the fireplace. So that's how it works. But that's just one way to date it. There are others ways too. For example, instead of imitating small patterns of speech like phrases and short sentences, when he was young, you can imitate large patterns of speech when he was young. So he now he complete out ID. So in this case, you wait until the speaker completes a tout or an ID, then pause. And try to express that ID yourself. Another approach is to simply listen to the whole speech and then try to deliver that. Enter speech yourself. So there are several ways to go to about it, but what I recommend is to combine them all together and I call this approach easy to hard imitation. Easy to hard imitation is based on the concept of progressive training. Activity forcing yourself to get better. A number of studies have found this kind of training to be very effective. Here, how can apply this concept? Start by imitating small portions of speech first. Here's how you can apply this concept start by imitating small portion of speech first when he was young. Like phrases and short sentences, then move on to imitating larger portion of speech. Like phrases and short sentences, then movie on to imitation larger portion of speech. When he was young, so he, now he. Like long sentences or even groups of sentences and finally to deliver to enter speech. Like long sentence or even groups of sentence and finally try to deliver the enter speech. Enter speech, full story, conversation on your own. And the technique offers many benefits. You get to listen and imitate correct English which helps you learn from sentence properly. I won't speak English well. I want to speak English well.
you get to learn idioms, expressions, and other speaking patterns that are used in day to day. Conversation. When you imitate other people, you're learning grammar through a process called implicit. I will lived here for six years. You get to learn grammar. When you imitate other people, you're learning grammar through a process called implicit. He's lived there for six years. I will live here for six years. Learning. Implicit learning. This is, is the process where the learning happens without your errands. This is how babies and children learn the grammar rules of the first language. When you imitate, you don't think about grammar. You are not trying to understand why the present perfect tense is used in this situation or in the situation instead you are focused on communication on understanding and expressing it ideas you are still learning grammar but you are not aware that it's happening Don't subscribe us on the channel.